Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and let's get caught up on what's going on with the tanks today. All right, I just need to stop the video right here real quick and uh, let you guys know um, that this video is like six months old at this point. So um, I, I haven't been around a bunch cause I've been, I was working a lot and then Christmas. And so I thought I had a video from three months ago ready to go but apparently I didn't so um, I had to watch this video to know what footage I had left and where I left you guys off so um, so from here um, I'll explain I'll explain everything in the next video all right so this uh, this video I shot six months ago it's um, it's gonna be a little choppy uh, I'm sorry uh, I plan to do better in the future uh, with videos but um, that's what we got going on with this one. So uh, let's watch the video. Um, over here with the cube. Uh, the cleanliness is holding up for the moment. I'm not seeing too much green hair algae yet. Although it looks like I got some on the rocks. Uh, the green star pops are doing good. Carpet and enemy. I mean who knows. Uh, it's staying in that same spot so I guess it's okay but you can't be sure um, this little stick thing uh, came unglued at least a couple of more times since the last time we talked uh, I think I finally really got it gl glued down good and good and for all at this point but um, as you can see most of the most of it has gone dead on me. Probably from it getting kicked around so much. But the rest of it looks like it's doing okay. It's hard to know. I mean, who knows what's good and what's not. So, moving on to the 250. Uh, Starfish likes to come up on the front glass a lot, which is pretty cool. I move the Duncan down to this spot here. I uh, can't tell whether it likes it better there or not. Elegance is doing good. Um, I think me putting all this stuff in here has motivated the engineer gobies to redecorate a bit. So they've been digging and moving sand around, particularly all around here. So in there moving the sand, they disturbed the carpet anemone that was back in that back corner there. And he was up here on the rocks the other day, but I have lost sight of it again. Uh, the flower anemone is still back, just back in that spot there where you can't see it, but um, I assure you it's back there. So looking down at this stuff. The Ghani's doing pretty good. I didn't know it stuck out that far. I'm going to have to move that frag because now I think it's about to be in range of the Galaxa or Galaxy. I'm not sure exactly what the name is supposed to be on these. But um, could theoretically hit that one with its sweeper tentacles and I don't like that. So I'm going to have to move him. This one is the Fascination Galaxy or Galaxa. And it's just puffing up real good. It's looking real nice. Uh, bubble tips are doing good. Uh, they take food whenever I offer it to them. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the new hammer coral. Um, right there. Kind of awkwardly pressed up against the wall here. So um, right, right there. Uh, it just did not survive uh, UPS's idea of overnight shipping that takes four days so it basically completely melted off overnight uh, I haven't really looked at that um, that blasto there I mean it's looking fine it just you know it's kind of plain uh, this is the new torch coral and um, on this hammer here, there was an aptasia off the side of it. There may still be. 
but I'm pretty sure I poisoned it pretty good so so whatever that is it might not be it might still be Aptasia so I'm gonna go ahead and treat that again but before we do that move up here so here's my little frag rack move to the front so sure we can see where I'm pointing at in this back corner here was one of the biggest uh, recordias I had and it just vanished yesterday I have no idea where it is it's just not there it's not on the frag rack anymore or it's not on the frag anymore um, I noticed that when I put in or rearranged it and put these two in uh, I found a place close to work that had um, salt water stuff they didn't have a whole lot and most of their tanks were like kind of nasty and overgrown and stuff like that but um, sometimes that's not as bad a thing as you might think so all of their corals looked really good had lots of really good growth it looked like nobody been in there to buy a frag in like five years I mean some of the frags were basically part of the frag racks that they had I mean they, they had all kinds of growth so they were actually pretty nice so I mean as you can see these two recordias are huge so I bought basically all the recordias they had which was both of them and yeah so doing good in here for now uh, they got fed about an hour ago so everybody's happy well, I did mention that this one here that was the um, yellow eye chalice uh, the melting is completed it's completely done but these other ones that I was worried about the blueberry stylo it seems okay the Superman Monty seems to be coming back um, I think the water change is what did that for those guys well, the rest of that weekend's plans got scrapped. So uh, here I am on a Wednesday, and I've just gotten a delivery from this box here. And in case you didn't know, you can now order fish directly from Biota. There's something like this nice little postcardy thing with it. And I've had to do some creative stuff because as per usual there's not enough water in the bag to properly use one of these acclimator boxes so I've had to variably adjust the valve and just use it as a drip I've done that once before I don't remember if I filled it or not but there is a fish in this box and he is tiny so hopefully we'll get some more water into this uh, acclimator box here and then we can get him acclimated and into the tank okay so I finally got him into the acclimation box proper and I can give you an idea of the size of this guy that's my finger that's the fish But he is a radial file fish. So a little file fish is in the tank. And he's going to need a place to hide because the big tang there has tried to eat him twice now. Way. So, little fish is in here. Seems to struggle with the currents a little bit. Again, I'm still thinking of turning the wave pumps and maybe even the main circulation pump down. But I'm going to have to go to work in a minute and hope that this guy doesn't get eaten while I'm gone. And so unfortunately that was the last time the radial file fish was seen in the Red Sea Reefer 250. So coming back and it's now a week later 
Uh, I don't know if you, well, I didn't point it out in that video, but all of my near right snails were up in the corner here. You can see some of them up there right now, but I was unsure what they were doing. And then two nights ago, down here, one of them laid eggs all along here. So, in however long it takes for these things to hatch, I will have at least 20 new snails. Additionally, Mr. Flan Mr. Phantom Clown here has decided to start hosting this uh, rainbow bubble tip anemone, which is great because that's my whole purpose in, in reef keeping. So hopefully it won't be like the ones in the other tank where the fish just rubbed it until it died. But um, I have found a couple Aptasia in here. There was one hiding in with the clove polyps over there. And there was one growing on the bottom of this hammer coral over here. Uh, it's a little dirty over here so you can't see nothing. But uh, I am treating that with the Aptasia X. And I plan on picking up some peppermint shrimp as soon as I can. So they can maybe eat the smaller ones. All right, so I'm trying to remember what else has changed in here. Um, so the stony corals are basically dying off. The Monty back there is still holding on, but um, the Leptos are starting to look pretty raggedy up here. And honestly, this frag rack is supposed to be temporary. Uh, the, just to hold the corals while I figure out where to put them on the rocks here and it's been months and I haven't moved anything to the rocks yet so I'm still working on that um, I might not have mentioned that I did turn the wave pumps down for that uh, radial file fish not that it helped but I did turn them down to 10% um, what else um, so yeah, I'm going to have to start moving these corals to the rocks somewhere. And I got to start working out where to put them. Um, I'm thinking maybe Zoa's over here in the corner on this bar. Because there's a hole there for them. And maybe putting that torch right in the middle. But we'll see about that. Because I've got to do it on a day when I'm here all day so I can set it down and it can watch how much the flow affects it um trying to work out if i do need to turn down the the main pump because i'm not really finding a good chart that says if it's here it's making this much pressure and if you got it on setting two it's making this much all i know is it's 1750 overall if it's on full blast and I only got it on setting two, which is maybe half, but I'm not sure. But the uh, recommended for this tank is 660. So it's definitely going to be at least a little too much, but I can't be sure. Uh, over here, again, the stony coral. I mean, it got knocked down three or four times, so I'm not surprised it died, but it died. But the uh, metallic mint green, I think is what they called these, uh, green star polyps, um, they're doing really well. Uh, they like the coral food and everything. The mini maxi carpet and enemy is doing good, I think. Um, I actually managed to feed it the other day and it seemed to take the food so it's probably okay can't be sure but i'm also adding new stock to both tanks probably saw the acclimator boxes i'm running them kind of reverse because you only get so much water in a bag at a fish store and that's not even half of what goes into one of these boxes so Basically, I just kind of reversed it and used this valve to control the drip, but um, 
you can see this is just a cleaner shrimp and I've also got like um, six new uh, hermit crabs in here because I'm only I've only seen like a couple of hermit crabs in here in the in a while but um, something else I've noticed is I've been coming home at night and using a flashlight to check on you know whatever's going on in here and there are so many pods in here now that it looks like ants feeding when you pull the light out at night so there's lots of amphipods crawling around um, isopods on the glass and some of the smaller pods that I think maybe the isopods are eating but there's certainly tons and tons of pods in here so I mean if nothing else that part of the tank is healthy so over to the cube and here's what I got for it this is a Hector's goby so he's kind of an omnivore and they say they eat like green hair algae and stuff like that and since I'm still kind of having a green hair algae problem in here I figure he'll be a good addition so the new stock has been dropped in the tank cleaner shrimp is starting to do his cleaner shrimp deal hermit crabs are starting to get up and walk around that reminds me here's what else I forgot in here so there are little feather dusters all around this corner here there's one on the frag with the recordia right Mm, there ish and there's a few more all around in front of it so obviously that's got something to do with this little rock here kind of altering the flow pattern so here's the Hector's goby hanging out around the bottom trying to make sense of his new home Alright, so thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time.